From the campus studios of Saarland University, this is Ropecast, a lighthearted podcast for learners of English, with Roger Charlton and Peter Tisha. Hi, all you podcast junkies out there. This is another episode of Ropecast. You're referring, aren't you, Peter, to our promise to talk about junk or rubbish? Yes, of course, of course. Hi, Roger. Hello. Yeah, we talked about my cleaning up the attic last time and yeah. how I threw out a lot of, well, useless stuff, junk. And yes. there's, there's a huge number of words for something you don't need, isn't there? That's right. And um, I think with the with the widespread use of the Internet now, mm -hmm. The word trash is probably one of the most familiar of all, isn't it? Uh, I guess. It's, it's completely similar in a way to garbage. Yeah. <clears throat> Although, interestingly enough, trash and garbage as the, uh, as the actual things that you throw away are completely similar to me mm -hmm. or, or synonymous. However, when it comes to the figurative use, then garbage, you can talk garbage. Yeah. You don't really talk trash. No. On the other hand, for example, there's the expression white trash, which means white poor people in yes. the United States. So you can actually talk about, which is, of course, not very nice, uh, talk about trash to use on people as a figurative. I way. could respond to, if I know someone well, mm -hmm. I could respond by saying that's trash if I think you've just been talking rubbish to oh, use the alternative. Can you? Yeah. But I can't, I, 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 in the US, no. I, I can't say, say no. you're talking trash. I uh, can just say, oh, that's trash. That's trash. Yeah. Uh, I think there's even a, uh, some little kind of music style that's called trash music. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's been used on, a, on a quite a few, in quite a few, well, uh, areas. Mm -hmm. But if it's the things that you're throwing away at home, mm -hmm. then in Britain, it's mostly rubbish. You can't say that. Oh, it, well, you can say that, but <laughs> in the U.S., that's only the figurative use. So you can talk rubbish or say, well, that was a heck of a lot of rubbish here. Yes. Or maybe even a talk that was uh, given by somebody, you know, it was rubbish. He didn't say anything interesting. On the other hand, uh, putting out the rubbish or putting the rubbish in your uh, uh, in your garbage can, no. Mm -hmm. You cannot in the in the U.S. It's only the figurative use. Whereas in Britain, we'd say put rubbish in the bin, and it will be picked up by the bin men. That's in that you don't have the bin basically. We, you you'd know it, but that's a garbage can. Right. And by the way, very I don't know if that's still the case, but when I lived in the U.S., I know that's been a while, but um, and I think it's still the same. A lot of Individual homes will not even have any kind of container, mm -hmm. so no bin, no no can, but they'll only have plastic bags ah, yes. that they throw out or that they put out on the front lawn. They're bin bags. We bin we, bags. We would see those in Britain garbage as well. Garbage bags. Yeah, in garbage bags in the U.S. And then you'd have, which makes sense, you don't have the bin man. You have the garbage collector. Yeah, because he'll just take. The garbage bags into his hand, or the waste bags, that's another word for it, mm -hmm. and just throw them onto the, uh, well, garbage truck, I think you'd call that. Well, if you get into the level of official language in Britain, they wouldn't say bin men. They'd, say, they'd talk about refuse disposal. Uh, is that, no, but that's not the person. No. Uh, that's the, what but is the, it? The lorry or the truck would be... The refuse disposal truck, for oh, example. Oh, my God. Um, I, I, don't, I wouldn't know about the truck. I know, however, that there is a word for the garbage man <clears throat> or the garbage collector, which is sanitary engineer. Yes. <laughs> Makes it sound extremely classy and nice. Just another point on language, mm -hmm. Peter. Um, we're here in Germany. Um, mm -hmm. There's been a, a German import into Britain. How's that? Instead of the bin bag, just the plastic bag, a lot of people have what they call a wheelie bin. That is a bin, actually usually made of plastic, yes. with wheels. Uh -huh. So even when it's heavy, you can wheel it out into the street, ready for the collection. Ah, okay, okay. Well, my kids will never know anything else, but when I was a kid, they didn't have those wheels on there. So, mm -hmm. um, But I didn't know that was a, a German invention, <laughs> apparently. And I don't think they're very common still today 
in the US. Yes. Uh. But the next stage would be this this lorry or truck uh-huh. takes the rubbish or mm-hmm. garbage, whatever you want to call it, mm-hmm. and um, it has to be disposed of. And if it's the old way, a hole in the ground, uh-huh. then it's a waste disposal site. And Isn't that also a landfill? Yes, landfill, right. So that sounds yet, classy, right? <laughs> you know, in Britain, it's a tip. A tip? Yes. You tip things into a hole in the ground, and that hole is called a tip. I think... No, you can't say that no. in the U.S. You can you can say... Uh, wait. You, you dump it. Mm-hmm. So the whole thing is a garbage dump. Yeah. I believe the official sign... Uh, when you, where where you enter that area on on well not on the door but you know on the driveway that leads up to it would probably read something like waste disposal right um, it's maybe landfill I don't know um, and the car is the, the lorry which I would call a dump truck yeah let's finish off today's podcast with a little question for our uh, listeners uh-huh. and that is assuming you see a sign uh-huh. that says no tipping. <laughs> How would this be interpreted in the United States, and how would it be interpreted in the UK? Okay. No tipping. Okay. Uh, if you want, send us a post, and uh, we just might have a little present for the winner. Bye-bye. Bye. You've been listening to Ropecast, brought to you by Saarland University, featuring Roger Charlton and Peter Tischer. Tune in for the next edifying episode on your podcast dial.